Are these, are these the last, last days? Did you hear about the war oh, in Israel? I, I heard about the rapture. Have you heard about that? Is this the beginning of World War III? Be ready when Jesus comes. I need some answers. Have you heard of the Revelation Answer Man? Hello, I'm Dr. D, the Revelation Answer Man, and the Chancellor of the Worldwide Bible College in the beautiful city of Rancho Cucamonga, California. And I'm here to answer all your questions about the Book of Revelation, the Antichrist, or the end times in general. You know, these are scary times. All people are frightened. And guess what? You have questions and I have answers. So let's get to it. Let's see what the first question is for the Revelation Answer Man today. Who is the Antichrist? Where will he come from? Is he with us today? Ooh, what a question. And I'm sure many of you have that same question or those questions in your mind. Well, let's give you just a little, a few points on the Antichrist. Now, over the years, numerous people have been pegged as uh, being the Antichrist. People like Adolf Hitler, uh, Caesar Nero, uh, Henry Kissinger, and many others. Uh, this goes all the way back into the Bible days. People always wondered, uh, who is the Antichrist? Is he here now? Is it this man or is it that man? Well, the Bible first mentions the Antichrist in the book of Daniel. It talks about him coming forth as a little horn among other great powers. The Bible also cautions us over in the New Testament that even if the man is not here, the spirit of the Antichrist is here. And it gives a, a, a reason for that, uh, what that spirit is, but also Anything that's antichrist is anything that marginalizes Christ or the work of the church in the world. Anything that demotes, uh, demeans, or goes against uh, his word and goes against the love of Christ. Anything that you take it of Christ, put it on the back burner of your life and turn the fire down. If you disfigure the image of Christ in the world being claiming to be of Christ but acting outside of the parameters of love that is all the spirit of antichrist rising in our world when you do see the church doing things and acting in ways that is not according to the love of God hallelujah now watch this here now so in the book of Thessalonians it gives us this little hint it says that we learn that the Antichrist will not even be revealed, will not be seen or recognized until after the church of Jesus Christ is raptured up off of the earth. So there's no need of looking for him right now because the church is still here. The church has not been raptured and you won't, he won't be revealed until after the rapture of the church. Now, in the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation, we find out what the Antichrist originates from. It says in that 13th chapter, we learn that, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea. Now, this beast is the Antichrist, and he's rising up out of the sea. And what sea is this? This is the Mediterranean Sea. And what's significant about the Mediterranean Sea is that it's the sea that spans the old Roman Empire. And all those nations around there, Rome had conquered uh, pretty much the, much of the known world. And it had all of these other uh, nations as their subject. And so in prophetic scripture, anytime you see a body of water, it is a metaphor for people. So if it says in that 13th chapter, and I saw a beast rising up out of the sea, that means he saw the Antichrist coming from among the people out of the old Roman Empire. But he's speaking of the revised Roman Empire, which is in our day and time. Now, where do we find the revised Roman Empire? 
It is the European Union. Many of those nations that were in the old Roman Empire are now a part of the EU. So according to most eschatologists learn is that the European Union is going to be the platform from which the, the Antichrist rises to his kingship here on the earth. And we call that today the revised Roman Empire. And I've answered your question in five to seven points. Hey, I'm the Bible Answer Man. Be blessed.